Thanksgiving, little monsters. I love you so much, and there's nothing that I'm more thankful for than having you in my life. <laughs> Goodbye, meat dress. Hello, blue jeans, Lady Gaga goes classic rock on Joanne. Here's a weird name to throw in the mix for next year's desert trip. Lady Gaga http colon slash slash www.latimes.com slash topic slash entertainment slash music slash lady hyphen gaga hyphen peck lb 0017764580 hyphen topic dot html. A deep believer in the power of costume and character and thumping electronic beats. This 30-year-old pop star hasn't historically sold herself to the classic rock lovers who assembled this month near Palm Springs to witness Neil Young flay his guitar in a black t-shirt and jeans. But on her new album, Joanne, Gaga is speaking precisely their language. Released Friday, it rolls out one boomer signifier after another, beginning with the slinky Stevie Nicks homage of the opening cut, Diamond Heart, and proceeding through songs that emulate Elton John http colon slash slash www.latimes.com slash topic slash entertainment slash music slash Elton hyphen John hyphen peck lb 002595 topic dot html Bruce Springsteen and the Rolling Stones, the last another desert trip performer. In the title track she even steps to Simon and Garfunkel's finger picked folk, with Paul Simon's son Harper on guitar. The narrative already taking shape around Joanne is that the album represents a course correction after the perceived excess of Gaga's previous solo album, 2013's Art Pop. She's going back to her roots, this thinking goes, in order to find something real and true. But what do roots mean for Lady Gaga? Born in New York, she grew up a theater kid and found early success with a club track called Just Dance. So the idea that she's returning to the wellspring, or shunning her love of artifice, is absurd. For Gaga, classic rocker is just another pose, as, indeed, were the jazz singer she portrayed on Cheek to Cheek, her 2014 album with Tony Bennett, and the Broadway belter she became in her tribute to The Sound of Music at last year's Academy Awards. Which is fine, dress up is fun, after all, and sometimes more revealing than stripping down. And don't let the t-shirt fool you, Gaga is definitely dressing up here, no less than when she notoriously donned that gown made of meat. Players that includes Mark Ronson, Beck, Father John Misty and dudes from detail-obsessed rock bands like Queens of the Stone Age and Tame Impala. Este Heim, one of the sisters in L.A.S. Heim, even shows up playing percussion on one song. Working together, they assemble some gorgeous pieces. There's Come to Mama, for instance, which recreates Springsteen's squealing soul rock circa Born to Run. There's Hey Girl, a duet with Florence Welch that imagines Benny and the Jets as an ads and b jam. And there's Perfect Illusion, the album's ecstatic yet paranoid lead single, which reminds me of jittery disco rock songs like Billy Joel's Pressure or Shattered by the Stones. Joanne, whose title comes, rather tellingly, from an aunt who died before Gaga could meet her, also has harder to classify tunes such as Sinner's Prayer, a sort of spaghetti western fantasia with Sean Lennon on slide guitar, and John Wayne, which mashes up tinny Eurohouse synths, slowed down funk drums and a boot scooting bass line straight out of Nashville. Gaga pulls from country music and AU, a digital honky tonk rave up, and the acoustic ballad Million Reasons both of which the singer CEO wrote with Hilary Lindsay, of Little Big Town's girl crush fame. But here again the notion of Roots music as a crucible for authenticity seems silly. Gaga singing in the masterfully composed Million Reasons, Lord show me the way to cut through all this worn out leather, goes one brilliant line, is pure performance, a careful choreography of gulps and swoops. If she's acting, as usual, then what's the message of the play? In the past Gaga has employed her characterizations to illustrate the plight of the marginalized, and there's some of that on Joanne, in Diamond Heart, about a go-go dancer whose innocence is wrecked, and the lugubrious Angel Down, which the singer has said was inspired by the killing of Trayvon Martin. 
Come to Mama delivers a sermon of tolerance that has its heart, but not its brain, in the right place. The only prisons that exist are ones we put each other in, she sings, not unlike a fourth grader. Hey Girl fares better as a conversation between two women promising to walk each other home because they can't find a cab. Yet other songs, for all their vivid sonic color, lack strong stories. Ayo, hey John Wayne and Sinner's Prayer feel like mere stylistic exercises in a way that Gaga's earlier stuff never did, costume dramas minus the drama. Tonight, In other words, you're giving me a million reasons to let you go. You're giving me a million reasons to give me a million reasons. Giving me a million reasons. About a million reasons. If I had a highway, I would run through the hills. If you could find a dry way, I'd forever be still. But you're giving me a million reasons. Give me a million reasons. I bow down to pray. I try to make the world seem better. Lord, show me the way to cut through all this worn out breath. Facebook fans, this is Lady Gaga. Well, when I was in high school, I wasn't the most popular girl in school, but thanks to all of you, I'm the most popular girl on Facebook. Oh my gosh, that's crazy. <laughs> anyway, love you and thank you. Bye. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to channels.